Ah, uh, 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 don't touch that dial. Listen to... Blondie! Yes, folks, it's another half hour of fun with Blondie and Dagwood, brought to you by the Colgate Palm Olive Tea Company, makers of the new super suds with Pi Ray. And Colgate Dental Cream, to clean your breath while it cleans your teeth. Last week, the Riley Brothers Circus came to town and Dagwood promised to take Cookie and Alexander. But as the days went by, Dagwood forgot all about it. So one morning before Dagwood came down to breakfast, Alexander said to Blondie, Mom, what's Pop going to take us to the circus? Well, I don't know, Alexander. Your father's been very busy at the office this week. He promised to take us. Well, Cookie, why don't you and Alexander use the power of suggestion on your father? What's the power of suggestion? Oh, you just hint around about the circus until suddenly your father gets a brilliant idea. What idea? To take you to the circus. Oh, but that's our idea. Yeah. Well, believe me, children, it'll work a lot better if you let your father think it was his idea. Well, sounds kind of goofy to me, but we'll do it. Hey, is breakfast ready yet? Daddy's coming downstairs now. Mm -hmm. Now, remember, son, the power of suggestion, but don't be too obvious about it. Okay, Mom. Oh, boy, I'm starved. Here I come, ready or not. Oh, oh Dagwood, you're not dressed. Uh, you forgot to put on your trousers. Uh, oh, yeah, that's what I said. Here I come, ready or not. Huh? Hi, Pop. Good morning, Daddy. Oh, hi, kids. Uh, well, what's new, huh? Now, sit down, dear. Your breakfast will be ready in a minute. Okay, Blondie. Mm -hmm. Pop. Y yes, Alexander. We want to try the power of suggestion on you. Y you do? Yes. We suggest you take us to the circus. Oh, uh -huh. Cookie, be quiet. Uh, now, now, look, kids. Be, be quiet and let, let your pop read the paper, please. Mm -hmm. Here's your breakfast, honey. Oh, thanks, dear. Mm -hmm. Did you see this big ad in the paper, Pop? Yeah, pass us all, please, Cookie. Which ad is that, Alexander? It says, Riley Brothers Circus. Educational enjoyment for every child. Yeah, yeah, cream and sugar, too, Cookie. Yeah. Mind tingling thrills for kids from six to Yeah, six to... boy, these eggs are just right, Blondie. 150 death defying ass. Yeah, uh -huh. 40 marching elephants. Yeah. 50 lions and tigers. Mm -hmm. Boy, this is good coffee, Blondie. 60 beautiful girls. 60. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just got a brilliant idea. What is it, Pop? Let's all go to the circus tonight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, huh? Gosh, Pop, you're swell. Oh, I wouldn't say that, Alexander. But I don't mind if you say it. <laughs> oh, holy smoke, look at the time. I got to leave right away, Blondie. Oh, oh wait, Dad. Yes, but don't go yet. Don't go yet? Mm -hmm. Oh, gee, honey, you sort of hate to see me go out the door, don't you, huh? Yes, dear. Particularly without your pants on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I gotta hurry. I'll be right down. We're going to the circus. We're going to the circus. <laughs> Man, Pop thought it was all his idea. Gosh, that part of suggestion really works. Uh huh. Hi, Mom. Is lunch ready? Almost, Alexander. Go upstairs and wash your hands and face. Oh, gee, do I have to? Yes, you have to. Hmm. Oh, dear. What's that peculiar odor? I don't smell anything. Oh. Well, where were you all morning, Alexander? All over Jimmy Dexter's house. Oh. Well, go on upstairs and wash your hands and face. Oh, gee, Mom, I just washed my hands and face this morning. Mm hmm. I wonder what in the world that is. Why, Jimmy Dexter and I had fun this morning. We were playing circus with this fat billy goat. <laughs> Well, I'm not wondering anymore. <laughs> so you and Jimmy were playing with a billy goat all morning. Yeah. Alexander, I've changed my mind. Huh? Don't go upstairs and wash your hands and face. Okay. Go upstairs and take a long, hot bath. <laughs> oh, Mom. Circus tonight? Okay, I'll take a bath. But can I ask you something first? Well, what do you want to ask me? Can I have Jimmy Dexter's billy goat? Why? Does he want to get rid of it? His father does. If I had it, I could start my own circus. Heaven forbid. Besides, what do you think your father would say about your having a billy goat? Well, couldn't we keep it a secret? I'm afraid things like that have a way of getting around. <laughs> <laughs> well, gee whiz, I don't see what's so terrible about having one billy goat. Remember, you and Pop were kids once. What? 
Well, you haven't always been old. Uh, old? <laughs> No, I guess it just seems that way. <laughs> Why can't I have it, Mom? Mm, you'd better ask your father about having a Billy Goat, Alexander. Well, if Pop says yes, what will you do? I'll just pray for a strong wind. <laughs> <laughs> That's you, Bumson. This where Corporal Julius Dithers hangs out? Joe Clark. <laughs> Sergeant Joe Clot. <laughs> remember, Julie? Uh, I'll say I remember. I haven't seen you since the Army in 1918. Yeah, you were a corporal and I was a sergeant. <laughs> <laughs> remember that last leave in Paris? Wow. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Joe Clot. Yeah? Been a long time. What are you doing in town, anyway? Tigers Club convention starts today. Tigers Club? Oh, sure, you know, Tigers Club, like the Lions Club, the Elks, the Moose. Oh, sure, Tigers Club. Yeah, roar! What's that? Oh, that's our club greeting. <laughs> hey, why don't you join the Tigers Club, Julie? I'll get you an invite. Oh, I don't know, Joe. Oh, it's good for business. You meet a lot of fellas, swell blowouts, get to go to the convention. Might be a good idea, Dad. Well, sure it is. Well, uh, could my assistant be a member, too? His name's Bumstead. Well, sure thing. Hey, why don't you and Bumstead be my guest tonight? Well, what's tonight? The Tigers Club Stag Banquet. Stag Banquet? Sure. You know, Julie. Stag Banquet. Growl, <laughs> growl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait a second. I'll call Bumstead. Okay, Corporal Dithers. As you were, Sergeant Clotz. <laughs> Bumstead, come in here. Did you call me, Mr. Gittes? I'm said meet my old buddy, Joe Klotz. Mm -hmm. We were in the Army together in 1918. Oh, glad to meet you. <laughs> what were you in, the K-9 Corps? <laughs> of course not. Joe was a major and I was a general. Oh. <laughs> a general? Mr. Gittes, you, you told me before that you were an admiral. What? Oh, well, yes. I was an admiral general. Oh. <laughs> I was just telling Julie Bumstead that you and him should join the Tigers Club. Yeah, Joe has invited us to be his guest at the Tigers Tag Banquet. Right? Oh, that, that's great. Now, let me see. There was something. Yeah, it seems like there was something I was supposed to do tonight. Yeah. Oh, nonsense, Bunny. I didn't give you any homework tonight. No, you didn't. But well, wait a minute. I must have been thinking of last night, yeah. Well, I'll call Blondie and ask her if I can go with you, huh? You mean ask your wife if you can go? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Bum said the trouble with you is you don't stand up for your rights. Mm. Make your own decisions. Mm. What are you, a man or a mouse? Assert yourself. Be like me. Yeah, well, I don't like to be a rat. I... <laughs> Oh, come on, Bumstead. If you don't go, you're going to miss a lot of fun. Bumstead, this is an order. You have to go with yeah, us. Yeah, well, I still don't think I should go without telling Blondie. You have to go. I won't go. All right, you're fired. All right, I'll go. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> I promise you, it'll be a circus. Oh, boy, this will be a circus. Oh, circus. Hey, that's just where I was going to go tonight. I was going to take Alexander and Cookie to the circus. Now, if, oh, my, if I don't take them, I'll be a flop as a pop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, Blondie. Uh, this is the first chance, dear, that I've had to uh, phone you. Yeah. Well, you see, Mr. Gitters is making me have dinner with a bunch of tigers. Yeah. Ah. Uh, so you and the children go ahead, and I'll meet you at the circus later. Yeah. Yeah, I'll see you in front of the sideshow where they had that, that dancer, Little Egypt. What? Well, if that's the way you feel, dear. Yes, okay, then look for me by the monkey cage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. Goodbye. What'd she say? She said for me to wear a hat. <laughs> hey, guess what, fellas? <laughs> I just found out we're going to march into the circus behind our tiger band. Yeah. Uh, isn't that great? Oh, say, do you or Dithers play any band instrument? Uh, well, Mr. Dithers blows his own horn a little bit. Mm. Ah! <laughs> uh, well, come on, fellas, let's get going, huh? Boy, I can't get to this circus soon enough. Uh, I'll march any place you want me to except in front of the trombones. <laughs> Oh, dear, I 
wonder what's keeping your father. Do you think I should go down to the monkey cage and look for him? Oh, Cookie, is that a nice thing to say? Well, we might be sharing a few penis with them. Oh. Hey, look, here comes another band. With a lot of clowns behind uh -huh. him. And look at that big tiger. The way he stands in the middle. Mm -hmm. I'll bet if he had one of pop sandwiches, that sand would really drag. <laughs> oh, your father would love this. I wish he were here. What happened? Look, Mom. Huh? The front of the tiger stopped. And the back part bumped into it. Oh, those are men wearing a tiger costume. And look, children. The man in front is grabbing the man in back and, and trying to stuff him into the lion's cage. <laughs> I, huh? Oh, oh, come on, children. I don't know how your father got into this, but we're going down there and get him out of it. Oh, dear. Home at last. Yeah. Boy, that was a swell circus I ever saw. Mm -hmm. And, Pop, you were funnier than any of the other clowns. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I suppose. And now, now, let's be quiet. Cookie's sound asleep. Uh, wh wh where do you want me to put her, Blondie? Here, give her to me. I'll take her upstairs and put her to Oh, I'll carry upstairs. No, never you, mind. Kid. Never mind, dear. Now, come on. Give her to me. That's yes. it. Now, you'd better rest after your strenuous evening. Yeah. Shall we go in the kitchen and have something to eat? Well, I didn't eat much supper, so I'd be able to eat a lot of popcorn. Mm. And then I didn't judge much popcorn. Mm, yeah. Well, okay. Come on, Alexander. I'll fix you a nice sandwich. Come on. Hmm. Mm. While I'm at it, I think I'll make one for myself. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll make a bumstead number three special. Gee, <laughs> that first guy to get rid of his goat. Can I have it? Oh, it would be too hard to take care of, Alexander. Oh, I know it wouldn't, Pa. I'd take good care yeah. of it. Yeah. Now, let's see. Now, what will I put in my sandwich? Pickled herring, horseradish, salami, onion, little Limburger cheese, little peanut butter to sort of cement it together. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Let's see now. What else will I have in that set? And all the gold is eats is wood and paper and tin cans. Yeah, well, it's a wonder the fool things don't get sick putting that mixture in their stomachs, huh? <laughs> oh, gee, Pop, can I have them? Yeah, I, I don't think he'd better, Alexander. You don't think he'd better what, Dad? Uh, I don't think Alexander should have a billy goat, Blondie. Well, I didn't think he would. Mm. In fact, I'd just assume you didn't even play with that goat, Alexander. After you've been around it for a while, you... you... Well, I'd just assume you didn't play with it. Yeah. Well, gosh, if that's the way everybody feels, I guess there's nothing for me to do. But leave home and join a circus. Yeah. Uh, leave home? Just because you can't have a billy goat? Yeah. I guess I'd better leave. Hmm. Oh, but Alexander, you can't do that. So you're going to run away and join a circus, huh? Imagine a bumstead being in a circus. Mm. No, no, no. No, no. A bumstead in a circus. It, mm -hmm. <laughs> ah. Alexander, uh, when do you think that you'll be leaving? Huh? Oh, well, tonight, I guess. Mm, tonight, huh? I know it's a hard thing to do, but I'll just have to be a man and make my own decisions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alexander, uh, take a little look outside. Yeah. It is pretty dark. And no place to sleep, either. Mm. Okay, if you want me to stay tonight, I won't leave home until the first thing in the morning. The first thing in the morning, huh? Yeah, the first thing after breakfast. We'll return to Dagwood, Blondie, and Alexander in just a minute. New Super Suds contain Pyrate, better than sunshine any day. Gets washed white and colors bright. Notice that we didn't finish our Super Suds jingle? Well, you write the last line for that jingle, and you may win a new 1949 Ford. So get new Super Suds from your dealer. Ask him for complete official rules and entry blanks for the big Super Suds jingle contest. <laughs> Alexander's packing his suitcase. He is? What for? Well, don't you remember what he said last night? He's leaving home to join the circus. Oh, stop worrying, dear. Now, just act like we're not going to try to stop him, see? He won't leave home. I know Alexander. He won't even go out of his room today. Well, goodbye, folks. Yeah, goodbye, Alexander. Uh huh? Hey. Hey, wait a minute. Where, where, where are you going? I'm leaving home, I guess. Of course, if you and Mom really want me to stay... Oh, no, no, no. 
we've changed my mind. <laughs> we uh, don't want to stand in your way. Oh, you wouldn't be standing in my way, Pop. Oh, no, you wouldn't be standing in his way, Dad. Uh, no, Blondie, no, dear. Alexander's made his decision, and I wouldn't want to interfere. Oh. Um, what have you got in your suitcase, Alexander? Oh, I just took the important stuff. Mm. Only the things I really need. Mm. They're what things? Well, my water pistol. Mm. Oh, yeah. Everybody should take a water pistol when they go on a trip. Yeah. <laughs> and my butterfly clip. Yeah, you'll need that too, all right, yeah. Mm. And my baseball bat. Mm. A baseball bat? <laughs> in that tiny little suitcase? How'd you get a baseball bat in there? I saw it in half. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that, that should fit, I guess, yeah. Well, 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 well... I guess I'd better get started if I'm going to join the circus. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, but you're going to eat breakfast first, aren't you, Alexander? Well, if you really want me to stay, and Mom... I'm sure we want you to stay... <clears throat> till after breakfast, I mean. Huh? Oh, sure. Till after breakfast. <laughs> Where is he, Dagwood? Yeah, well, he, he's coming down now, Blondie. He, he went up to pack his suitcase again. Oh, Dagwood. Yeah? Do you think we should let him leave? Now, don't worry. He won't go far. He'll come back. Just don't let him think that we're concerned. Oh. He has to realize that he can't get things by threatening to leave home. Oh, I guess you're right, dear. Oh, sh- here he comes now. Let's just go on eating our breakfast. All right, all right. Well, I guess I'll get going. Um, mm. Okay, Alexander. Come on, Mom. Bye, Pop. Boy, it's been nice living here. Mm-hmm. Too bad I had to end this way. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, Alexander. So long. Well, well, there he goes. Oh, gee, Mom, don't cry. I'll stay. Well, uh, I'm not crying, Alexander. Oh, you're not? Uh-uh. Well, I guess I'll be going. Bye, folks. Yeah, goodbye, Alexander. There he goes again. What'd you say, Pop? <laughs> <laughs> Said goodbye, Alexander. Oh, so uh. Hmm. Hey, that, that's funny. Hmm. Yeah. I, I know Mr. Ditters must be in his office. I'd, I'd better look. Oh, well, good morning, Mr. Ditters. Well, how do you feel after last night, huh? Oh, oh, oh my head. No. <laughs> I know, but how do you feel? Oh, oh, oh my head. <laughs> How's your buddy, Joe Clot? Oh, his head, too. <laughs> oh, guys, that's too bad. I guess it's a good thing Blondie took me home. Bum said I feel awful. Oh, my head. Mm. Shut the door, Bum said. Okay, J.C. <laughs> Oh, you have to slam it? Yeah. No, my ears are ringing. Uh, no, no, no. That, that, that's the phone, Mr. Dillard. I'll get it. Uh, hello? Oh, yes, Blondie. What? You think Alexander's really gone? Oh, my. This is all my fault, Blondie, dear. Okay, I'll find out where the circus went to today and see if he's there. Goodbye. What's the matter? Alexander's... Well, he's left home to join the circus, and I've got to go find him. Oh, that's nothing new. What? Every boy wants to run away and join a circus at some time or other. Mm-hmm. I remember when I was seven. I told my father that for two cents I'd run away from home. Uh, what happened? The easiest two cents I ever made. See, <laughs> I, I, I wonder where the circus went to. Oh, I think it's in Sheridan City today. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and find your little bumlet. <laughs> I wonder when I can get a bus for Sheridan City. Hey, that looks like Mrs. Bob Orpington's big long limousine coming this way. Hey, Mrs. Bob Orpington, hey! <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Bob Orpington. Oh, Mrs. Bobson, hello, hello there, dear boy. <laughs> How are you? It is a fiddle. Mm. Oh, you don't, uh, you don't happen to play violin, do you? Uh, oh, hey, no, no, I don't. Oh, 
Oh, too bad. You know, this morning I went to the gymnasium for a little exercise. Mm. Oh, they have the handsomest new gym instructor. Mm. He left me simply breathless. <laughs> oh, he did? Yes, he hit me in the stomach with a medicine ball. <laughs> hey, uh, well, what did you do? What did I do? Mm. Well, I did what any well-bred person would do. I turned blue. <laughs> Uh, how are you, dear? Oh, uh, not too good. Mm. Oh, you look very good to me. So uh, strong, so handsome, so uh, Gregory Peckish. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but tell me, uh, what's the uh, trouble? Uh, well, my son wanted to run away from home, you see. Oh? Uh, and he, well, he wanted to join a circus or get a billy goat, and I told him that he'd have to choose between the goat and me, so he took the goat. <laughs> You know, I ran away from home when I was ten. Uh, did you want a billy goat? Uh, no, I wanted a minky coat. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, where are you going? Uh, can I drop you anywhere, dear boy? Well, I've got to get to the circus at Sheridan City and find uh, Alexander and bring him home. Well, hop right in, hop right in, and I'll take you there, dear boy. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> oh, you know, uh, uh, my late husband, Mr. Buff Orpington, the man who invented the chicken, you know. Ah, yeah. <laughs> He, he always used to say, be it ever so humble, there's no place like home if you can't find any other place open. <laughs> oh, joy on, Arthur. Mom, can I have a sandwich? Why, Alexander, are you still here? I thought you'd left home to join the circus. Well, I just came back to tell you goodbye. Well, you told me that at breakfast. Well, I was thinking, maybe I could forget about Jimmy Dexter's Billy Goat. Oh, really? If I didn't have to wash my hands and face every time I eat. Uh-uh, uh-uh, nothing doing. As long as you live in this house, you'll have to wash your face and hands before you sit down to the table. Well, I guess I'll get started. I'll go up and say goodbye to Pop. All right, you go up and... Oh. Oh, my goodness. What's the matter? Well, your father's gone to the circus at Sheridan City. He has? Yes. Gee, is he going to wag the tail of the tiger again? Oh, never mind that. He's looking for you. But I guess we better start looking for him. Oh, Come on, my we certainly don't want Pop to run away and join a circus, do we? No, sir, Alexander. But we better get him quick before the circus hires another clown. <laughs> just about everywhere for him. Well, if you were a Dagwood looking for an Alexander, where would you go? Well, I guess maybe I'd be where they feed the animals. Let's go look. Okay. Hey, mister, give him the peanuts, not the shells. Oh, hey, do I have to? Huh? There he is, Mom. You're right, Alexander. You, Dagwood. Hey, Pop. Pop. Hey, 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 Sonny. Come, come, come here, Sonny. Have you seen a little boy around here named Alex... Uh, El oh, Alexander, it's you. Hey, Jerry, Pop. Oh. Oh, Alexander, my little old boy. I found you at last in Blondie. Yes, Dagwood, we're mm -hmm. here. Look, dear, I just found Alexander. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought to myself, where would I go at the circus if I were Alexander? So I came here, and sure enough, I found him. Look we were him. looking for you, too, Pop. Oh, yeah? I knew you'd get lonesome for your old Pop. Mm -hmm. Well, right now, I'm not sure who was looking for whom. Mm -hmm. But we'd better get home for dinner. Oh, that sounds good to me. <laughs> Mom, as soon as we get home, will you remind me of something I have to do right away? What's that, Alexander? I want to go upstairs and wash my face and hands for supper. <laughs> Don't go away, folks. The Bumsteads will be back in just a moment. Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. No other toothpaste does a better job of cleaning teeth than Colgate Dental Cream. For Colgate Dental Cream has a safe polishing agent that cleans your teeth both gently and thoroughly. Brings out their natural sparkle and beauty. You can actually see and feel the difference. So see if you don't agree with the millions who have made Colgate Dental Cream America's favorite toothpaste. And always use Colgate Dental Cream after you eat and before every date to clean your breath while you clean your teeth. <laughs> there. 
Are you all tucked in comfy now? Mm -hmm. Good night, Alexander. Good night, Mom. We're certainly glad you decided not to run away. Yeah, we sure are. <laughs> Alexander, you really were a big help in finding your father. I know, Mom. But don't tell Pop. Oh. It might spoil his fun. He really thinks he found me. Yeah. For soft, gleaming, glamorous hair, try Luster Cream Shampoo. Be a lovely Luster Cream girl. Dream girl, dream girl, beautiful luster cream girl, you owe your crowning glory to a luster cream shampoo. Remember, folks, every Wednesday over these same NBC stations, another half hour of fun with all the bumsteads brought to you by Colgate Dental Cream to clean your breath while it cleans your teeth. And the new super suds with Pi Ray. Better than sunshine to get wash white, colors bright. Tell all your friends to tune in next Wednesday at the same time for Blondie. Written by John L. Green, starring Penny Singleton and Arthur Lake with Hanley Stafford. This is Howard Petrie saying good night from Hollywood. <laughs> This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.